Hello Niagara on the Lake, Betty DeSero here. I want to talk to you today about our long-term care facilities. Uh, we are blessed in Niagara on the Lake to have three excellent long-term care facilities that uh, our residents and residents from other places use in the, during their time of need. They are in itself um, places where uh, they are self-contained and have their own community within themselves, but quite often in the past they have been a very large part of our Niagara-on-the-Lake community with their little festivals and, and bake sales and um, I remember apple dumplings from, uh, from Upper Canada which were second to none. Um, but during this time of COVID-19 they are, they have been and will remain to be isolated from the rest of the community. Um, it, is, it is those workers in those uh, facilities that are the face that those uh, patients and, and residents see every day. Um, and they are, the frontline workers, are our, um, our voice to those residents and patients that are in those long-term care facilities. They are, those frontline workers are risking their lives to help us and to help their, their clients in the long-term care facilities. I want to express our thanks and gratitude to those frontline workers that come in every day, every hour of every day, to help with our, our vulnerable community in those long-term long care facilities. Just wanted to uh, bring some attention to a recent media uh, report of an outbreak at a long-term care facility in Niagara on the Lake. Uh, although these uh, outbreaks um, can seem concerning to the public, we wanted to reassure the public somewhat that uh, they are a regular occurrence. Uh, each facility could have uh, anywhere from six to 12 outbreaks annually. Uh, we receive notifications on a daily basis uh, of outbreaks within Niagara on the Lake uh, from the Niagara region. And those notifications really are intended to help uh, our first responders, uh, our paramedics and, and firefighters to uh, adjust their level of personal protective equipment uh, in response to one of these facilities. So although uh, it's recently received a bit of coverage in the media, we just wanted to reassure uh, the public that uh, outbreaks are a regular occurrence within the facilities. Uh, if we do receive uh, information that this is upgraded in any way, um, to a COVID related outbreak at that point we would communicate that uh, uh, more broadly and, and it is public information that uh, is shared openly by the region on a daily basis so uh, that information would be shared accordingly. Uh, the, the care facility in Old Town is uh, taking their own precautions uh, within uh, the parameters of the outbreak uh, to isolate where they can uh, and really at this point uh, there's no uh, reason to be exceptionally concerned by uh, the reports of the outbreak. However, uh, we'll monitor and uh, if it does get upgraded, we'll share that information at that point. I also want to tell you that while they have been isolated from the rest of us in Niagara-on-the-Lake, we have been in touch with uh, each uh, long-term care facility um, to ask if they have enough PPE, to ask if they need anything at all to find out what's happening within their facility and um, also to uh, send on behalf of Niagara-on-the-Lake all its residents to send snacks and treats to uh, and energy bars to those long-term care facilities just to uh, show our appreciation to those workers and uh, from everyone in Niagara-on-the-Lake. Um, so far as of 1.30 April 16th uh, all is well in our long-term care facilities. Um, but should that change, we will uh, immediately send a message out to the community to let you know that um, we've had an instance in one of the facilities. Uh, but as I said, to this minute, to this date, 1.30, April 16th, all is well in those facilities. Thank you.